All right, more questions from Ask Reddit. Isn't this great? What is something you should never say at a funeral? My bad. Why do you have so many U2s of yourself? <laughs> oh, no reason. I'm just, you know, playing with them. You see, I even have one of yours. When did Pokimane get a U2s? I mean, it makes sense that she has one, but I've never even heard about it. And to be honest, I wish it was never made. With her fan base, horrible things. And I mean, capital H, horrible things are happening to that poor U2. Hi everyone, this is a picture of me waving goodbye in my suicide capsule. Hey yo, I bet it got unskippable ads before you die. Wow, imagine being so broke you had to get the ad sponsored suicide package. You're too broke to even get your own exit. At that point, I would just stop trying to commit suicide. It everything, everything is telling me that I should stay alive, including my bank account. Hey Reddit, what country is not nearly as bad as the media portrays it to be? Hmm, I'd have to say Antarctica. The media makes it out to be very cold there, but the situation is improving. Oh my god, tell me something I don't know. I took my son's nappy off so he could run around naked for a bit before his bath, and he took a huge shit on the kitchen floor. But before I could clean it, my dog ate it. So, uh, I bet you didn't know that. What's a fact that makes you uncomfortable? We'll start. Your bones are wet. Yo, and there's a moment during the cremation process when the meat is perfectly cooked. You know, I'll just jump in here. Since hot dogs are basically just pureed meat stuffed inside an animal intestine, a hot dog doesn't stop being a hot dog even after we eat it. We just become the new hot dog casings and that makes us, in a way, hot dogs as well. How much time do you need in your life to come up with such a theory, to realize such a truth? Because what he's saying, I can't disprove. I'm not smart enough to disprove it. It, it makes sense to me. I just didn't need to hear that, you know? I just didn't, uh, I didn't need that today. I'm gonna have to think about that. That's gonna be in my brain forever. Okay, so what are some myths about sex that just annoy you? Someone once told me that the recipient of anal sex farts, the fart gas will travel through the urethra and the pressure will make the balls explode. I'm no doctor, I'm no body physician, but if I were like 11, maybe 12 years old and you told me this, I would have believed you wholeheartedly because this, this makes sense if I was a middle schooler. This, this is enough logic for a child. What is the most disturbing fact you know of? Oh god, not on this subreddit, please, it's about to get terrible. If you put yogurt in a dead person's- what- what the- Trial and error, don't use Nutella- oh my god. Ugh. I don't know man, I'm not a scientist, I don't know if that's how that works. I know that yogurt has good bacteria, and bacteria is a thing in decomposition. I know that much, but I don't think- I don't think putting yogurt up somebody's butt Especially a dead person's butt is gonna make them decompose faster. It's just gonna freak out the coroner. Dude, the internet crazy. We not supposed to know this many people. <laughs> I'm living in your walls though. I'm living in your walls. I'm scratching every night. Yeah, that's cool and everything. Could you go ahead and make a glory hole while you're in there? I mean, if you go be in my walls, at least be useful. People have girlfriends? How? Can someone please tell me? Yeah, I met a girl at a bar, got her number, lost on the way to a five minute walk home. Searched Facebook by her first name and thought I had found her. Next day, she accepts my friend request. I start things off with, hey, you were at the show, you know, bar, right? She says no, and then I profusely apologize for interrupting her day and state that I will leave her alone. She told me, no, let's keep talking. That was coming on two years ago. I love her deeply and her family. They're fantastic. Best mistake I've ever made. Aw, that's such a such a great story but you know in another timeline that bar girl was supposed to murder you in your sleep so yeah cute story though please take me out of this hell what's criminally overpriced to you oh definitely funerals you know the hearse is expensive the wake is expensive everything is expensive for no reason i mean i, I could just be cremated you know you know hey hey let me just step in real fast just melt me in a bucket of acid and fling me at my enemies Pick pics, asshole pics, mostly they're just confusing, but extreme close-ups in porn are also confusing to me as well. I mean, those weird porn angles that are supposed to show everything at once, they just look uncomfortable. Yeah, I asked a girl for a booty pic one time, and she sent me a very close-up picture of her asshole. I was quite taken aback. The eye of Sauron is upon you. <laughs> You know what, that's a solid way of getting people out of your DMs who are just asking you for body parts. If someone ever asks you for a booty pic, search up butthole pics online and then send one, uh, you know, to the person. Freak them out. It doesn't have to be your butthole, because I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of balloon knots online that you can take for free. 
I can't take it anymore. I want a PS5, how do I get one? Yo, I got contacts in the black market if you want. Wow, PS5 Human Skin Edition. <laughs> to be honest, that edition of the PS5 would probably cost the same as a regular one. Ah uh, yes, the legendary battle between Darth Diabetes and Obi-Wan Chromosome. <laughs> I love that regardless of what YouTube has done to the platform to try to neuter it, the comment section has remained the same since the jump. Unhinged and f***ing hilarious. Asking if I plan to have children in the interview, I was 19. To be honest, I don't think an interview is the proper place to birth a child anyway, to be honest. Do you have any other talents? Lies down and goes into labor. I guess it's a talent to be able to have birth anywhere you want to have birth, but even if that is miraculous body-wise, like that's crazy, it's still terrifying. I remember the first time I saw a natural birth, I was 15 years old. And yes, I was shocked for the same reason why any young boy was shocked. It gets wider than you think. It gets so much wider than you think. Okay, okay, okay. You see four girls posing for a picture at the pool. How do you open? <laughs> That's a good question. They're all pretty. They're so, they're so gorgeous. I would kill myself in front of them, changing the trajectory of their lives forever. Now no one will forget me. Female ejaculate is called Amrita, which means nectar of bliss. If a woman is basically healthy and emotionally balanced, it is a healing elixir for men. It actually is an elixir for longevity for men. So in such a case, a man who is gifted with this by a woman should drink with gratitude and joy. Yeah, that's cool and all, but I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. Your drawing looks like the guy is sucking out the poor woman's intestines, and that doesn't seem sexy. My wife got a refrigerated dispenser tap installed in hers, so I can pull myself a cold one on a hot summer day. The imagination of some people on this godforsaken website. Oh my god, which president is the best throat goat? That's a very good question. And before I show you this absolutely perverse answer, I want you to tell me in the comments down below. Go ahead and give Give a guess, and if your choice matches up with the comment that I'm about to read, you will win whatever's in my pocket right now, which is, um, uh, looks like lint. Trump is purse slipping it like Melania does with his dick on his birthday. Amateur stuff. Joe knows how to open the mouth wide, but at that angle, he won't be able to relax the throat enough to really fit it all in. He's a gagger for sure. Obama is standing, and he's got a full grip, so he controls the angle as it goes in. And he's got a full, unhinged snake jaw going to make sure he can fit the whole thing in. Barack is the throat goat, no question. Yo, just found out hamsters can literally hibernate, and my six different hamsters that I thought died in the winter, that I buried, were probably alive. Hey, at least you weren't me. Mine was shivering, so I put it into the microwave, and it exploded. My mom was crying as she scraped hamster guts off the walls. No, the first one was a mistake. The, the accidentally burying your hamsters alive, I can believe that being an accident. No, you're a little psychopath. You put your hamster in the microwave just to see what would happen. Hey, if I jumped from the Golden Gate Bridge and regretted my decision as soon as I did, what would be the best possible thing to do to survive the fall and the aftermath? You see, the Golden Gate Bridge is the most used suicide site in the world. The deck is about 245 feet above the water. After the fall of four seconds, jumpers hit the water at around 75 miles per hour. Most die from impact trauma. About 5% survive the initial impact, but generally drown or die of hypothermia in the cold water. So hypothetically, if I were to do the same, how could I save myself if I just like regretted it? Uh, you know what? I really don't have an answer for you, bro. All of those statistics seem pretty negative and doesn't seem like you'll ever survive, but I'm just impressed how quickly you got this question off midair. <laughs> Assuming they all have one, which celebrity sex tape leak would literally break the internet? Oh, you, you know what? I wouldn't even be shocked if our modern pope actually has a sex tape. The dude has already done so much to disgrace his position in the Catholic Church. I genuinely wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. R slash thanks I hate it sent you a message. You have been permanently banned from participating in r slash thanks I hate it. You can still view and subscribe to r slash thanks I hate it. But, and this is important, you won't be able to post or comment. Jesus Christ, how bad was it? Well, you see, I, I posted a video of a guy inserting whipped cream into a girl's ass who then farts it all over the guy's d You know what? I regret asking why curiosity killed the cat and I'm f***ing dead. Riddle me this, butt man. If quizzes are quizzical, then what are tests? Testicle. <laughs> Iowa Washburn City LaPorte Road, 200 meters ahead of the intersection with Cedar Street and 300 meters north and 8.2 feet deep lies the body of Matt Wayne, the 42-year-old man I shot to death in 2013.
Couple of girls had a club where they self-harmed together. Teacher found out. It was like the whole school was on suicide watch after that. Suicide Squad! Kim K has a sex tape and Kanye still married to her. But y'all scared to talk to a girl because of some rumors you heard. Oh my god, so true. My husband watched me get a train ran on me by nine dudes in college. We're celebrating three years of marriage in March. Nine. Nine people. The funny thing is, is that you can really only manage three guys at a time, so that was three dudes three times. Back to back to back. And he just sat there? What type of demons is your husband fighting that may have encouraged him to cuck at such a I insane level? Oh my god! Hey Pringles, now that I'm no longer a child, I can't fit my hand in your tube of goodness. Do better. <laughs> Pro tip, spit on it and put that hand in there with some purpose. Come on now. What you doing? What you doing? What's up everybody, it's your boy Ailers, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam, what you doing watching videos and not subscribing, and if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. We wouldn't be able to make content like this without our Patreon supporters, so a big thank you to Maddox Miller, Donner Has Hawk, Clyde the Hobo, The Fourth Lick, Caroline Banana, Uncle Fucker, Rail Sparrow, A Sleep, A Generic Fox Fur, I Didn't Bought My Viewers True, Benny's Big Bean Burrito, Burrito, Nobs, Upanut, D4C, Kiri the Sloth, Lady Laughs A Lot, Swiss Patreon User, Esau, Izuku, Muffy Lou Who, Noah, Vermont, John Robinson, Eva, Catherine Taylor, Hannah, and Will Billy, thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly to the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.